Namaste. Hamesha Kush Rao Bikya. I am Jayan Dr. Dewey Kiridi and today's lecture is on cruciferous diseases. Now for this cruciferous disease, we are going to take the very first disease that is alternaria leaf spot and we also have black spot disease to study. Now the first disease alternaria leaf spot it is common in cabbage, polyphar and mustard caused by Alternaria brassicola, Alternaria brassicae and Alternaria brassinae. Now what are the symptoms? Since it is an Alternaria disease, there will be spots and the spots are small and dark colored. They soon enlarge and become one and an in family. Now when there is more humidity, conidiophores are formed and these spots are in concentric rings. Now, these uh, spots together merge and they cause the leaf to be blighted. And this is a seed borne disease and it causes shriveling of the seed and poor germination. Such spots are also seen on the petiole, stem, cord, and seed. Now, what is the disease cycle? Primary infection is uh, uh, through mycelium present in the seed or through spores present in the seed or debris. And the secondary infection is by rain or insect borne chemical. So here you are seeing the spot as I have already shown you. Yes. So these are the spots of alternaria. They are present in concentric state. For management, we have the hot water treatment that is at 5 50 degrees centigrade or 30 minutes. So, seed treatment with exosan and foliar spray of Rickmanfuzen at the rate of 0.2% or carboxychloride at the rate of 0.3%. So, these are the for alternaria. Then we have the second disease that is black rot. Now, black rot is a bacterial disease caused by xanthomonas compestris. Pathovariety sample. Now it is quite serious on cabbage, polyflower, mustard, nolnol, and red. Now what are the first symptoms? They first appear on near the leaf margin as polypic or yellow angular area. Now this yellow area will extend to the veins and midriff and will form characteristic Y shaped porotic spot. Now the veins and veinlets turn black, brown. And then finally, black. So here in the, this, you can see this is the white shape area, which is outer is yellow and it is brown to black. Then these veins are also further turned into black. Now, what happens? This vascular black vein will now extend to further to midway, petiole, and stem. It also reaches the root system and therefore it could cause blacking of the vascular bundle. Now in bacterial disease, bacterial ooze is a very important symptom. It is seen on the affected part. Now if the infection is at early stage, the plant will die and if it is in the late stage, the plant will become soft, it will drop and it will die. Now the disease cycle is it is internally seed and born and soil born. So it survives with plant debris. There is a collateral host also here that is Centrilella asiatica. And the bacteria, as we all know, enters through somata or cotyledon. And here it is actually to cotyledon somata. Now it can also enter through hydrophores on the leaf margin. And also to go. So the secondary infection is very easy. How? Because through irrigation water, wind splash wind, this bacteria is transmitted and also by mechanical means. For management, we are taking seed treatment with multi chloride solution for 30 minutes or agrimycin or oromycin 0.1% solution. Though multi chloride we are not using nowadays. So, agrimycin or orimycin is more suitable. Hot water treatment at 50 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. 
and for killing the seed bod in offspring we also dipated streptocycline that is 100 ppm for 30 minutes we can also spray agromycin 100 or streptocycline 50 ppm at the transplanting stage for curd formation and for crop rotation is with non cruciferous crop is also a good management practice Seed drenching, seed bed drenching with five percent formalin for nursery seed bed, and resistant varieties. So for cabbage, we have Defender, Cabaret, Deviator, Pusa Musta, and for cauliflower, we have Pusa Pusa Snowball, A I S and S P L L twelve. So these are the resistant varieties. So these are the two diseases of cauliflower which we have discussed today. So friends, I hope you have liked my lecture. If you have any query, please give it in the comment section. I will resolve it soon. This session was powered by Digital Version 2.0 of the Sri Vidya Peace Women's University.